Hi guys, my name is Mason. Welcome you. Ah, oh, pardon me. Welcome you back to the game pit. The pit the games are played in. I'm very sorry for that burp. There's a code right there. My apologies. But uh, yeah, this is Diddycom Racing. This is one of my favorite, 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 favorite games of all time. Uh, it's one of my favorite games from childhood. Possibly my favorite game of all time, actually. Like I'm just reconsidering that right now. But uh, these characters, very classic. You might recognize a few of them. This is Banjo. This is Conker. Conker's Bad Fur Day. I don't even have to like reference the game to from. Diddy Kong himself is who I'm going to be playing as because I love Diddy Kong. I mean, I made him in Smash 4. I made him in Smash Brawl. I made him in Mario Kart Double Dash. Like, oh, Donkey Kong Country 2 is my shit. I mean, oh, just Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong all the way. So let's jump around into this. I didn't show the intro cinematic introducing all the characters and whatnot because there's already a lot of back plot for this game. Like, I mean, there there is plot to it. I mean, there's a point in the game, of course, but I mean, it is majorly just, like, racing. There's very, very little dialogue. So, yeah. Let's enter our channel's initials. The game pit. Pit the games are played in. There we go, pit. Okay, let's start. Let's get right on into this juicy high-res 1080p cinematic. <laughs> you guys can just imagine it was that way anyway. Which brings a question to mind. I wonder what Diddy Kong Racing would look like on the Wii U. Now that is something I would pay good money to play. Oh, look at these graphics. Like, can you imagine these graphics in 1080p? Like, Chris fucking next gen shit. Oh my god. It would be amazing. Woohoo! You wouldn't even have to, like, redo the dialogue and shit. You just put in these fucking audio files and just add new subs and whatnot. Just add new graphics. Like, just do this. Please. I would kill for this game to be remade. I know it was remade for the DS, but I mean, come on. It's not really doing the game any justice, is it? It looked just the same. And they added like a new bullshit feature. Good luck. Thank you, Genie. Thank you, my accomplice in crime. Right, so there we are. That is literally it for your intro, like, cinematic. Your game prologue. Alright, so what I'm going to do right off the bat is give you guys a brief tour of the overworld in a different vehicle. Because that's the main thing with this game, is you can switch between a car a hovercraft, a plane. I'm going to be a plane right now. I will switch to a car to enter the main, well, the first overworld. The first world, I should say. This is the overworld. Uh, but I wanted to enter the plane so I can show you guys the um, overworld real quick. So this is the main section I'm just leaving. It's a lighthouse. Here's a later world, not much later, probably the third world. Pretty sure, yeah, this is the third world. There's another golden balloon over here. The golden balloons work like power stars do. They're equivalent of power stars from Mario. Like, you need a certain amount to enter each area or whatever. And there we go, third golden balloon. I'm just picking up these little pieces, little pesky balloons that I know of around the overworld because it just gives you, it does give you a relative upper hand in the in like very early game anyway. I mean, you can just enter like the whole first world if you get these balloons. All right, so let's just, actually I'm not even sure if I need to switch back to the car because I'm pretty sure it'll switch me back to the car as soon as I go through this door. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Here we are, we're in Dino Domain. This is the first ever world. We have four golden balloons already. It's only four minutes. Whoa! That's TT. We'll be introduced to him later on, but right now I don't really give a shit about his feelings. Let's enter the first race. Ancient Lake. Oh, here we go. See Banjo right up in front there. Pipsy. Timber behind me. Come on, guys. You don't mean shit. Go! We've got blue acceleration boost. That is sweet as shit. Let's fucking do this game. Oh, that fucked me. It fucks me every single time. I don't know why, but if you just, if you come onto that little ramp a little too early, then you'll just latch onto the very edge of it and you won't be able to move, like, at all. Except off the ramp. It sucks. It sucks, I know. But what can you do, friends? Pretty sure, I'm not certain, but the amount of bananas may increase, uh, the amount of bananas you have may increase your acceleration. Like, don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure it works the same way that, um, up-to-date Mario Kart works. Like, with the coins and whatnot. I know it works in Mario Kart, I'm just not certain if it works in this. Because I haven't played this game in a fucking long time. Yeah. I have not played DK or ever. Well, not ever, but in a fucking long time. Shit! So I've got eight bananas now. I'm definitely seeing, like, an increase in the acceleration, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I seem to be going faster. And the pitch of the acceleration seems like- Oh! Jesus Christ, dinosaur. Calm. Your fucking teats. Here we go. First place. Boom! Bitch! That's the first track done. We are only like six minutes into this and already have five balloons. Whoa! 
and this cinematic is skippable, but only after the first time watching through. <laughs> so, get used to seeing this, well the intro to it anyway, we'll never get to this point because I'll be spamming the fuck out of that A button. But yeah, this is Diddy Kong Racing, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this game? If you guys have, like if any of my current subscribers are watching this, and are watching this like, oh my god, I can't believe Gabe has played this game. Oh, this game is amazing. Let me know in the comments down below who has played this before, because it'll be it'll be cool. It'll be cool, you know. I like interacting with you guys. You do know this shit. All right. So, upon completion of that race, we unlocked the uh, this world mini game. Every single world has a mini game, and you unlock that mini game by um, finding the key, which can be in any level. It doesn't have to be in the first one. Just the first one happens to be in the first level. So uh, yeah, that is available to us. I will be doing that at a later point, but not just yet. I will. Th I think I'll do the mini games after the completion of each world. So I'll go back to it at a much later point. No, and I missed the boost because I suck. I suck so damn hard. See you later, peepsy. Here we go. Ink bombs and shit. All right, so I, I guess I'll get into the balloons and how to use them, how they work. Alright, so the red balloons, they, they're an equivalent of, like, green shells and whatnot. Uh, green, uh, sorry about that, guys. I'm still, like, relatively ill. Like, I'm not 100%. It's just because it's winter. And, I mean, UK, I mean, it's constantly like this. But, um, alright, balloons, you can stack them in such a way that, say, see that I have this one balloon right here? If I get another balloon, then it'll become item level 2. And you can max each item, um, three times. So, yes, first level, second level, and third level. And you can do it with any item, but... As you guys will quickly come to learn, the only balloon that's really useful in this game is the blue balloon because, I mean, all you need is boosts. Because if, if you get far far, uh, far away like from the crew, then they can't touch you. Like, even if they have the homing, the second level stacked uh, red balloons, which are like red shells. Because the first um, level of red balloon is just, it's just a simple green shell because uh, there's no homing. But if you get it a second time, then it becomes homing, and then if you get it a third time, then it becomes like trio red gels. It's like three homing rockets, which is just amazing and OP. But you're not going to stack red the red ones for that long without you know focusing on your boosts because then you're not going to make it anywhere and not even know who you're shooting at. So there's not going to be any point. But I, just for educational purposes, I will go ahead and show you guys what the triple stacked blue balloon looks like real quick because it does look very fucking cool. Here we go. Whoa! Okay, I actually went so fucking fast, I just like fused into the wall for a moment. But there we go. That is the balloons and how to stack them. How to use them. That's why I love this game so much, because stacking up your blue balloons is... Oh. You can do some serious overlapping with that shit if you do it right. <laughs> See you later, Genie. I don't care for your cinematics. Okay, so now that we've got the second course out of the way, I guess we'll jump into Jungle Falls. Shit, I might actually be able to like beat the first half of... World 1 in the first episode, which would be quite crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so we've got the boost, we've got the weak boost. No one cares for the weak boost. And if you guys are wondering why I'm switching between, like, having normal boost and this ridiculously overpowered rainbow boost, there's a difference. As I told you in the intro, there's this little trick of, uh, drifting, like, ultra drifting, by doing a uh, break and drift at the same time. Well, there's a way to ultra boost, in a way, and I'm pretty sure it's actually called rainbow boost. But you just let go of the acceleration the moment that you um, actually hit the- OH MY FUCKING GOD WHAT THE SHIT <laughs> What the shit just happened? But you just let go of the acceleration the moment that you hit the zipper or the boost and yeah, then you'll get acceleration boost which is like two times if not three times the power of acceleration like I'm not even- I'm not even joking you like look at this oh fuck I fucked it up but, I mean look at this let me get rid of this and just show you HOLY OKAN I just crossed the entire fucking bridge Whereas, if, if that was normal boost, I probably wouldn't have even made it halfway across the bridge without that ending. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, if I wasn't focusing on like, trying to be like a tutorialist, perfectionist or whatever, I probably could have overlapped some bitches right there. Oh my god, I'm definitely going to be able to fit in the final race. This is crazy. But yeah, this isn't a walkthrough, even though it'll probably, it'll most likely be a 100% run of this game. It's not really a walkthrough because I'm doing this more of the fact to have fun, not for educational purposes. I mean, like, you guys will learn shit along the way, but I mean, this is not a walkthrough. Let me just get that straight. I mean, you can watch it for walkthrough purposes because, I mean, it essentially will work as a walkthrough. I mean, it's not intended. Alright, here we go. Hot Top Volcano, first plane race. 
getting those bananas. Stacking those bananas. Oh, I fucking love you, Diddy Kong. You are my pride and joy. Oh, fuck. I was, was going to see if I could, like, hit both of them at the same time. But I drifted too tight and ended up getting nothing. But I can get a triple boost right here. See you later, alligator! Whoa. That literally took me all the way into the next lap. Like, literally took me into the next lap. Holy crap. I'm going to be able to get some laps in this race. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's try. Let's genuinely try to see if we can get some, some overlapping going up in this beach. So we go triple boost. So can, oh, yes. All the way through there. All right. Seeing how smooth that was, I might actually have confidence and faith in myself to overlap someone this race. I'm going to do it. I'm going to fucking do it. Guys, cheer me on. Shit. You didn't cheer me on. So I didn't hit that fucking Baloost. Baloost? That was a combination of Balloon and Boost right there for you friends. Baloost. It's probably, you're probably going to hear a lot of that shit in this let's play from where I'm just constantly trying to say the word Balloon. Balloon is like a tongue twister if you're trying to speak fast, commentate. I'm constantly on a racing game at the same time. Like, holy shit. I'm not going to be overlapping anyone. I see you, Timber. You're literally in sight. I'm going to do a flip. Just for the fuck of it. Also, tricks. Pulling off tricks perfectly as well. You can get boost from that. And if you let go of the acceleration, you can also get rainbow boost from doing tricks. Which is kind of ridiculous, but the time consumed from the animation of the trick makes up for the amount of boost that you get. So, I mean, I guess it's fair. And here we go. All four races completed. We have eight golden balloons. And the boss door is now revealed to us. But I guess we're going to go into this duel next time on Let's Play Decom Racing. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like down below for me. As you know, I highly appreciate the support. And yeah, just stay tuned for the next one. Subscribe for more of the series. Other than that, I'm going to get up out. Bye.